If you've been waiting to find out, will the new revelations from John Bolton's upcoming book, will that lead to witnesses? Then the answer I have for you is mixed. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's stuff that points in both directions. So let's run through it and catch up a bit. Okay, in a private meeting on Tuesday, a group of GOP senators in competitive races, Joni Ernst of Iowa, Cory Gardner of Colorado, Martha McSally of Arizona, who we'll be returning to later on the show, <laughs> and Tom Tillis of North Carolina told their colleagues that a drawn out trial would hurt them electorally. And there is no better way for this trial to be drawn out right now than if there were to be witnesses. And so they're very much against the idea. And so far, the only Republicans who seem almost certain to support witnesses in a vote are Susan Collins of Maine and Mitt Romney of Utah. By the way, one extra consideration that I haven't yet mentioned in all this, it's not clear if Chief Justice John Roberts would break a 50-50 tie for something like witnesses. If he voted against it, obviously there'd be no witnesses. If he abstained, which seems maybe more likely, there would also be no witnesses because they need they need to get to 51 without John Roberts, who you would think think as the, the presiding person on this would want more information, would want witnesses, but I kind of doubt that that would actually happen. Probably not. There's a few things from these quotes that we already saw just now that uh, stuck out to me. So uh, the, the, the revelation was that these particular vulnerable uh, senators, these Republican senators, they would hurt them electorally if, they, if this gets drawn out. The next question is, the discussion had to continue. I wish these sources would have at least jumped, not jumped in, but uh, uh, finished the thought and be like, why? Yeah, why what is exactly? it about a drawn out process that will hurt these particular senators? Now, we see how a drawn out process can hurt Donald Trump because more information about what he has done, potentially has done, will come out and then people will see that and go, oh man, man, this guy's a bad guy for real. I keep mm -hmm. seeing all his evidence is coming out in like mountains of evidence. When it comes to people like, you know, Joni Ernst, Martha McSally, Tom Tills, um, what is it that they're, they're associated with that they're gonna figure this is gonna hurt them electorally? What it is, yeah. my assumption, uh, is their, their uh, unwavering support in kneeling to Donald Trump. So as things hurt him, it hurts them, because as it goes on, they have to continue to de defend him. Yeah. And to continue to lie to. on television. Yeah, so they're like, this is the only route I have. If I have to keep defending him, it's gonna hurt me. Yeah. They know how bad this is, yeah. and they don't wanna have to actually do it very long. Yeah, the only people in the Senate who can seriously say that their electoral chances are hurt by an extended trial without implicitly acknowledging that Trump is guilty are the Democrats who aren't able to campaign right. because of an extended trial. Right. Bernie Sanders can complain all he wants, and he's not admitting anything there, right. he's just being honest. For them though, they're not worried that it's gonna hurt them electorally because a whole bunch of witnesses are gonna be trotted out that have no evidence, nothing to say, it doesn't look bad for Trump, that doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. And I and I hate the same thing that you just said, like they never actually finish the thought, finish the question, yeah. get to the point. Now. All of that so far would lead you to believe that witnesses are apparently not going to come, and I do think that. However, yesterday, Mitch McConnell privately told GOP senators that there were not yet 51 votes against having witnesses either. So there's not 51 votes for either, which seems weird. You'd think it would go one way or another, right. but basically that means that in addition to apparently Susan Collins and Mitt Romney, there is enough people, at least two, that haven't gone on the record yet. I don't know exactly who those are, and I don't know exactly which way they're gonna go, although I have my gut. Yeah. I think we're not gonna have witnesses, but just bear that in mind. Right now, it looks like it could go either way. Well, I totally thought you were gonna be the optimist, because I like to go with the pessimism side. Because also, you know, those two names, Mitt Romney, Susan Collins. Susan Collins was telling someone earlier, I think it was maybe yesterday, that she's very likely to lean towards and possibly and sort of tip the mm -hmm. scales and balance on the balance beam. Like there's so many potential <laughs> terms of, I was kind of disturbed, I'm sort of leaning, I may be considering, mm -hmm. concerned, thought about, which one is it? Mm -hmm. I get it, you don't want to make up your mind before it's over, but there's all these teasing lines because the most important thing to people, the centrists or the, the moderates is to be seen as moderates, yeah. not to actually be moderate. Yeah, exactly, she could drag out for a week thinking about it to give herself that aura of reasonableness, yeah. but in the end her, Considering her, you know, like all that could just end up being a con, basically, yeah. like her. Like her. Uh, one other consideration, by the way, and uh, what I love, what I love doing is I love covering news that when you see it, you're like, how could that possibly be legal? But it's totally legal because this is American. Anything goes. Trump's lawyers gave thousands to Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, and Ted Cruz before the impeachment trial began. Yeah. Now look, you can go too far down this road, like the whole. 
Robert Mueller hired a guy who was a Democrat. Well, yeah, they all have affiliations. And look, I have no doubt that every one of Trump's lawyers is a Republican. Okay, that's one threshold. They're totally allowed to be that. Mm -hmm. But donating to them right before the trial, there's how is that not unethical? It's and it's not to say that they can never have donated to Republicans. They're allowed to participate like any American. But like you can't bribe a juror right before the trial, except that you totally can, and it's totally legal. And this isn't something that just Democrats and libs make up to just say that's what happens. Your president, Donald Trump, said so while he was running. He goes, I've given to these people. Mm -hmm. You know what I do when I give them? They come and they kiss my. So you know Ring. what? So that I can, so that they do what I tell them to, because I gave them money. So he gave up the game a long time ago for you yeah. guys. For you try to act like you don't know what it is. So when this happens, it's an admission of the way it's going to work. And in any other circumstance, it just wouldn't work out. And also, the one other line we heard from Mitch McConnell afterwards, he was, "We're going to follow the lead of the White House attorneys." When you say something like that after they gave you money, it's just. It's hard to separate the two. Yeah, he literally said it on Sean Hattie's show. We're gonna follow the lead of the White House attorneys because White House we've attorneys been paid gave to. you money. It's insane. It's insane. Thank you for watching this clip from the Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members-only exclusives, go to tyt.com/brook. Wait, no, it's. TYT.com slash John. Go to TYT.com slash John to sign up.